Okay, welcome back. Uh, in this video, uh, I'm going to talk about the landing gear and what your choices are for the completion guide to make the landing gear. Uh, the first airplane I made, this is the airplane number one. Um, I used a 1 16th uh, music wire and that was okay, flew well. Uh, the second airplane I built, um, I used a 3 32nd wire and it's stiffer. You can see how much stiffer that is than, than, than these that uh, tend to flop around. Um, but when you land this thing, <laughs> it lands on a dime. You know, it's got about a six inch uh, roll. It's, you slow it down real slow and you land and it rolls about six inches. So the landing gear isn't that important. Um, so, I, But I wanted to try both. So the 1 16th uh, music wire um, is uh, easy to get um, uh, usually from your local hobby store you can find 1 16th wire it's going to be about 50 60 cents somewhere in that range uh, the 3 30 second might be a little bit more um, the 3 30 seconds is harder to bend the 16th is easier to bend but it's bendable with a couple of pair with a pair of pliers and uh, if you're careful with it uh, and they're probably going to be about the same, 50 cents to a dollar a piece. You need uh, only about 15, 16 inches. Uh, so this is half of a 36 inch piece. The music wire usually comes in a 36 inch length. So these are 18 inches long. And um, uh, you, you can bend and, and then cut off what you don't need. So depending upon your choice of, of the landing gear, 1 16th, or uh, 3 32nd, you're, you got to pick a wheel, okay? The flight test videos show you how to make a wheel out of the foam, and in the kit they actually give you one, or give you actually six of these, so you get six of these, okay, in the kit. And they also, there's a tip on using a pop rivet, okay? So this is a pop rivet um, that you can see sits uh, into the hole that they made, uh, but that pop rivet will only fit the 1 16th wire, okay? And um, uh, the 3 32nd wire just won't go through that pop rivet. And you can probably find a bigger pop rivet, but uh, so this, this is a, you know, pop rivet is cheap. Um, the foam is cheap. Uh, I have not actually made these into anything yet, uh, but I will. Um, and so that's another way to do um, uh, a wheel is just make it yourself out of the foam. Uh, or from uh, Heads Up Hobby, you can buy this uh, set of wheels. They're very thin, as you can see, very thin, but two and a half inches in diameter. Uh, they're lightweight foam wheels from uh, MPI Max Products. And uh, they have a 1 16th hub. And so if you want to use the 1 16th wire, this will make a very good set of wheels for it. Um, uh, if you use the um, uh, option that the uh, flight test people say, you can put these on and hold it in so it doesn't wheel doesn't fall off by putting some hot melt glue on the wire. I tried it. Hot melt glue doesn't last very long. It tends to fall off. It doesn't stick very well unless you really rough up the the end of the um, wire which you can do with a piece of sandpaper but I prefer a wheel collar. So the wheel collars are Dubro. Um, uh, this is the 1 16th collar and there's the 3 32nd collar. So for this airplane uh, I'm going to use the 3 32nd wire and so I'll use the 3 32nd wheel collar. What's nice about the wheel collars that you get from Dubro is it already has a uh, uh, Allen wrench in there uh, to uh, tighten up the set screw. That Allen wrench, I believe, is a um, 0 0.050 uh, inch uh, hex. And so if you don't have a, a 0 0.050 inch hex um, uh, driver, then uh, you get one with your wheel collars. Okay. So uh, I'm going to throw into my pack. I, I've already taken two out uh, of a package and I'm going to use those. I won't be using these wheels, um, so I'm going to not use those wheels. I'm not going to use that wire. 
I'm going to use that wheel, that wheel collar, and I'm going to use this set of wheels. Okay, these set of wheels are Dubro. Um, they're two and a half inch um, Dubro wheels. Uh, the wheels are three dollars and fifty cents. Uh, so you can go from three uh, free wheels, uh, basically, to three dollars and fifty cents. The Mac MPI products, uh, I think, were about three dollars as well. The only difference is that the hub in this is five thirty seconds instead of three thirty seconds, but that's okay. When you put the wheel on, it uh, uh, will spin nicely. If it wobbles a little bit, so what? <laughs> the wire's going to wobble more than the wheel. Um, uh, there is another wheel that you can get that fits the uh, 330 seconds better. This wheel comes from um, uh, Flight Test itself. It's uh, a little closer to the 330 seconds. Uh, I've actually used those on uh, the 116th here on that airplane. And the wheel on this airplane is airplane number two with the 330 seconds that wheel doesn't wobble uh, that bothers you it's, it shouldn't because again a six inch takeoff and a six inch landing uh, roll is uh, not going to bother those wheels so I'm going to use the new bros here I do have some of these um, but you can get these at heads up hobby so if you want to buy everything from one place you can buy all this from heads up hobby um, so that's the wheel collars, wheels, and music wire. Um, and you can take your pick of um, based on your price range and, and what you want to do. Uh, if you want to go minimalist, uh, make your own wheels. So thank you for watching. And stay tuned for the next video.